Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me for another math lesson. You are making math easier just by showing up today. So thank you for doing that. Guys, we are starting a new unit on, this is lesson number one or part one of comparing numbers. And we're going to see things like less than or greater than or equal to. And we're going to look and see what those are. But first, what do those words mean? Well, let's figure it out together. When you see this symbol, it means less than. If the number is smaller than the other number, it is less than. The next number, it, the next symbol is greater than. If the number is larger than the other number, it is greater than. And last one, and you know this one already, it's equal or equal to. And if the number is the same, it is equal or equal to the other number. Now, why do I need to know those things? Well, when you're reading the answer to a greater than, less than, or equal to question, you're making a sentence. And this is how you know if you're correct, if the sentence is true. For example, and I'm going to show you these, 4 is less than 7. 4 less than 7. That makes sense? Let's try another one. 8 is greater than 5. Or 3 is equal to 3. So that's why we have those symbols. Now, here's the question. Why was there an alligator on the front screen? <clears throat> Usually your picture has to do with it. Well, the alligator's there to help you remember which one to use because the alligator always eats the bigger number. I know I always want to eat the bigger piece of cake, and that's a problem. But so we know that the alligator's going to eat the bigger number. So we see our alligator here. It's eating the 9 because 9 is greater than 2. Or, we see it here, <coughs> 1 is less than 5 because the alligator is eating 5. <coughs> so if I'm reading my sentence, 1 is less than 5. It's the same shape as the greater than and less than symbols. <coughs> now, it's your turn. Let's practice. We have a 1 and a 3. Which one do I use? Greater than, less than, or equal to? Is one greater than three? Is one less than three? Or is one equal to three? Of course, you know it is less than because it is smaller than three. And so our sentence would be one is less than three. Let's see if you can do one, two. Here's our two numbers. Four and a two. Is that greater than, less than, or equal to? Is four greater than two? less than 2 or equal to 2. Which one would you choose? Greater than. It's bigger than 2. It's greater than 2. So what's our sentence going to be? 4 is greater than 2. What about this one? I have two fives. A 5 and a 5. Is 5 greater than 5, less than 5, or equal to 5? Equal could always mean, also mean the same as. <coughs> it's the same. It's equal. It's equal to. So what would our sentence be? 5 is equal to 5. We're going to do a few more just for practice. 13 and 27. The numbers can get larger. 